Now we want to show you how much scatter comes out of the patient when you're doing a cross-table lateral hip. So we're set up. You can see that obviously it's not a real person, so we can't have leg up in the air and all that kind of stuff like you would really would do. But we're set up uh, at enough angle like you would normally come in on. And you can see that on the monitor, we've already taken a bunch of exposures till we got this thing centered the way we want to center it up. We're going to make two exposures. We're going to do one on the side over here where the tech would be, and we're going to do one on the side where the surgeon and the, and the assistant and the nurses would be. We have already done a bunch of exposures over here, and as you're going to see, you're going to see that there is no scatter happening on this side, which is really amazing because I have been a tech for well over 35 years, and it really wasn't until we kind of did this scene that I found out that I was wrong the whole time of where scatter's happening. I always figured x-rays coming out, hitting the patient, going through the patient, coming over here to your II, and then, but you know, it's now scattered, so it's definitely bigger, and it's just creating this whole area out here where there's this radiation everywhere. But as you're gonna see, it's gonna be zero. So we just picked four feet as a place because that's the place about the distance that the tech would be. When you're standing here and you're making an exposure, you know, you're usually, you can't be back here because if you gotta be moving that CM around, it's too hard to move it from back here. And you usually end up here grabbing onto these handles, which is what these handles are for, and maybe grabbing onto this back handle, and now you're moving it, and now you're closer to that four foot zone. So that's how we came up with four feet. So, I'm going to go ahead and make that first exposure. And I'm going to use the digital spot so that I will know that it's the exact same exposure on this side and on the other side. So here we go. For now, I am going to hide back here because I can. And I'm going to make that exposure. And there we go. And the dose is 0, 0.0 micro R which again is exactly what we knew because we've already done probably four or five of them. We did it at two feet. We did it, this one is exactly at 90 degrees to the patient. And so uh, hopefully you can see that the ion chamber is exactly the same height as the hip. It's exactly in line with the hip. And from the middle of the patient to here is exactly four feet. So now we're gonna go ahead and just move this to the other side of the room and it's going to be exactly the same thing, but it'll be four feet on that side. So now you can see that we've moved the ion chamber over to this side. And again, we're at four feet away, and we just wanted to keep it at four feet because we did, you know, four feet is where the tech would normally be. You know that the surgeon is kind of right on the patient, and you know, when the x-ray, they kind of lean back a little bit. They rarely can get back to four feet, so you know that when we're making those exposures, they're gonna get more dose than what this is showing. So inverse square law is gonna show that, you know, if they're at two feet away, they're gonna be getting four times the dose of this ion chamber that's now at four feet. So I've got my uh, dosimeter right here, and the ion chamber is obviously right over there. So let's go ahead one more time. I'm just gonna duck on down, even though, as I've showed you, there's really no dose over here, but it's just something I've done for my entire career is duck down and I'm not gonna stop now. So here we go with our next uh, digital spot exposure. And the dose is 76.6 micro R's. So you can see that on this side was zero, on that side was 76.6. And again, that's at four feet. So if the surgeon's at two feet, they're gonna be getting four times that. So, you know, four times 70, it's 208. So it's, you know, it's, it's quite a dose. And, you know, that was just one little baby exposure, right? But when we're doing cross table lateral hips, man, we're doing how many times are you doing that, making exposures like that? So there is, again, the perfect proof of, you know, we're on the safe side, let's say, here as the tech. But everybody on that side, anybody who's on the side of the tube, it's hitting the patient and scattering back to where it came from. And it's truly coming back at a 90. So the most scatter is coming straight back from wherever the x-ray came from. 
this little bit of an angle, it's still, you know, there's a ton of scatter happening out there as you saw, because that was four feet away and there was still that much dose out there. So as the, you know, tech with the button, it's always, you know, the goal is make those exposures as short and sweet as possible, have everything lined up and everything as perfect as possible. Again, if you're able to collimate, do so, because everybody on that side is definitely getting a lot of scatter.